Uh, so we'll go down to coach of the year now. This is a market that we, we, we spent so much time talking about it. And, and I think D'Amico Ryans will win the award, and he probably should win the award uh, after getting the Houston Texans to the playoffs. Like, but, uh, yeah, I, I was kind of all over in this market all year long. I, 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 I bet some Tomlin like you did, Will. I bet uh, Shanahan I, at, at a good number before that Ravens game, and that, that Ravens game destroyed the Shanahan ticket, destroyed the Purdy ticket, uh, and probably destroyed the, 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 the McCaffrey MVP ticket. As well. So, like, I didn't chase any more with this. Uh, I have a little bit of D'Amico Ryans, like plus 650 when they got off to an okay start, but, but I, I, I don't have a ton here. I, I think Ryans will win and should win. Don't you think, Will? I agree. It's interesting. Stefanski was like minus, I don't know, 1500 yes. with a, a week or two to play. But the fact that Ryan's the Jags collapsed, so that gave the Ryan that gave Ryan's uh, a chance to get in the playoffs, win the division. Remember, they won on that Saturday night standalone game. Uh, the fact that look, they had the number one pick or number two pick in the draft last year and you go to a division winner. That's a great narrative. A rookie coach. It's been a bad franchise. Plus, Stefanski won three or four years ago. He won during the COVID year. So all things being equal, they're not going to give it to the uh, same guy twice in four years. So I think Ryan's wins and wins a close vote. And boy, you could have gotten some nice prices on him with a, a week or two to go in the season. I think that's the lesson here betting wise going forward. You can get some really good prices late in these seasons. Sammy, do you, do you have anything anything here? I remember Stefanski being minus 900 yeah. after like week 17 or week 18. I can't remember exactly when it was, but he was almost a dying favorite to Will's point. And look, I, I think it's it's neck and neck. I think it should be a lot closer between Ryan's and Stefanski. Campbell's going to get some love too in Detroit, and he should. I mean, he took him to the NFC Championship game. Hell of a season there. I still think he's a moron in game, but there we he's going to get love. I was waiting. Um, I was waiting I for it. To, Sammy you know, was, he was drop, way too nice. He was to, way too what, nice. Hey, What's three minus three, Jeff? Oh, zero. Oh, there you go. Um, you know, there's that analytics nerd. Um, the Browns did win a game this year with four different starting quarterbacks, and that's never been done for a team with 10 wins. And I think that's, I mean, four different starting quarterbacks you want a game with? That's that's crazy, guys. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.